Hey everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. Welcome back. Today we'll be making this cute Merry T Texas Christmas card featuring these boots from Spellbinders dies. I'll be using several Distress inks, starting with this walnut stain. I will be working on the details of my actually putting this, the uh, ink on my dies, which will go on this craft card stock. And by doing inking up the dies, I'm going to really press that ink down into the uh, details of the boot. I'll bring over my Sizzix Big Shot machine and run this through, which will emboss and die cut these boots. And I make several passes through my machine here to really emphasize the embossing on these boots. So again, you can see one, two, three passes, four passes through, and then I'll add a paper sh shim, which gives it just a little more strength of embossing on those boots. Take my paper piercing tool and get these out of my die, and you'll see how that ink actually transfers to the boot image. And then I'll take frayed burlap I'm, and add these to my boots in an effort to get these to look as close to real leather as possible. So I'll be using several distress inks to accomplish that. I want to leave some low lights and some highlights on my boots to give them three dimension. Here I'm using Vintage Photo, which is a little bit darker, concentrating on the bottom of the boots and around the sides, again to make them look three-dimensional. And of course, if you've ever met a real cowboy or a cowgirl, you'll know that they would be highly embarrassed to have a very clean-looking boot, which means they're not working boots, they're just show-off boots. So for all the cowboys and cowgirls out there, I'm dirtying up your boots for you a little bit to help them look worn and not like they're right off the shelf. Now the walnut stain, which is what I used for the embossing part of the detail of the boot, is used to bring in the darkness around the soles and along the edge. Now we're starting to achieve a real leather look to these boots which is one of the pluses of using craft to start with, the craft colored cardstock. Just keep working it in there until I feel like it's looking like a real leather boot. Okay, then I take watercolor pencils to enhance some of the deeper details like the inside of the boot here at the top and also along the heels and the soles of the boot. This is such little bitty detail that I find I have more control with watercolor pencils. And then of course I'll use a water brush Pen, pencil or water brush pen whatever you want to call it it has a little part of the brush that contains water and pushes it out through your um, bristles here it is and when I add that to my watercolor pencil it just deepens and darkens the colors getting all that laid in there And then we've got these creases across when you wear boots and they get these creases across the top opposite of where your ankles go. It just gives it a worn look. All right, and then there's these little triangular parts right at the heel that I will darken up with the Sharpie Black fine tip 
marker. And that just gives your heel a two-dimensional look. Hope you can see that. All right, and then I have this Dead Bead Designs rubber stamp that is so cute. It says, have yourself a Merry Texas Christmas. And it's just adorable. How often do you find a stamp with your state's name in there? So I had to have it. Do you have any stamps with your state's name in there? I think it's super cool. All right, I'll go back with watercolor pencils. I've got this dark brown that I'm just going over the brown parts of the letter with letters and I'm going to just deepen those up a bit and then I'll come back with the green white and red to finish up this front sentiment for my card I'll be speeding through this again I will use that water brush barrel pen to come back and go over all of my watercoloring to just deepen up and smooth out those colors. This only takes a very little time. Got that completed. I'm actually going to make a label out of this. So I use the label die, get that run through my die cutting machine. Got that all done. The next thing I'm going to do is take a white gel pen and add some stitching around my label. And then I'm going to follow up with a little more of the distress ink around the edges which makes it look like a leather patch that you would probably find on a pair of Levi's or Wrangler jeans. And I thought that went really well with my little boots on the front of my card. I'll take a couple of ovals with this wood grain paper and also the craft color and I inked around both of those. Get those adhered together and that will be the base for our boots. I'll adhere one boot flat onto the wood grain paper and the other boot uh, is will be popped up on foam tape. So the back boot is flat and the front boot will have a little dimension behind it. So it's offset from our back boot just a bit. The card base is craft, it's five by seven inches, and then I'll be using this mat that's four and a half by six and a half inches. I also want to ink around the edge of my craft card base just so it coordinates and is cohesive with my ovals, my boots, and my label. Before I adhere everything on the front of my card, I want to do my inside sentiment. And I'm using a Memento Rich Cocoa for that. I give it a couple of 
stamps here to really get a crisp sentiment on the inside of my card. And then this faux suede cord. I chose red for my label and I thought that went well with a leathery looking pair of boots. Just make a simple loop and pull that through. Trim it and it's ready to go. Here's my finished card with just a little bit of dimension. And of course my lined envelope. Close up of the boots and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you will have a very Merry Christmas and I hope you'll come back to visit me real soon. Happy Holidays everyone!